product of my plan, but not the focus. I'm testing a toxic weapon, a poison called Quell. Its victims experience a prolonged state of agonizing pain before finally dying. The victim's allies are so horrified by Quell's effects, they lose their wills to resist. At least that's what I intend to prove. What a horrible thing. That's one of the things I love best about it. I need someone to introduce a controlled amount of Quell into the slave's water supply, so that I can determine the proper dosage. The work is dangerous, there will be armed slaves everywhere, but your success will be well rewarded. What do you say? I'll always aid in the advancement of the killing sciences. I suspected as much. My assistant, Sergeant Slerin, will recommend the correct dosage of Quell and give you a supply. See him at the research tent. If I know Lord Drowell's tastes, which unfortunately I do, he sent you for the Quell toxin. The sooner we get this done, the better. Impatient? Of course you are. My superior certainly knows how to choose his assistants. What if I told you this experiment is pointless? That past studies have shown increased suffering has no impact on the speed of surrender. This has nothing to do with accelerating the end of a rebellion. Lord Drow simply takes perverse thrill in gratuitous suffering. What exactly is the problem again? It's a matter of efficiency. There's no good reason why our mission here must be prolonged. I want this assignment over with. The faster this rebellion ends, the faster I'll be reassigned to more important work. Serving Lord Drow's bloodlust has stunted my career. If not for his inefficiency, I'd be a captain by now. If you let others block your progress, you deserve to fail. Why do you think we're having this discussion? Lord Drow's dosage of Quell Toxin will have slaves writhing in agony for pointless weeks, during which this area will remain volatile. I've prepared a dose that will kill the slaves efficiently, which is better for the Empire and for me. Will you deliver my dosage instead? I want these renegade slaves to pay for disobeying the Empire. You're not merely prolonging the slaves' agony, but my own as well. Committed to your work, aren't you? Very well. Take the Quell Toxin and inject it into the slave camp's water filtration systems. See Lord Drow for your payment when you're done. Why are you here? You're doing Lord Drow's bidding, not mine. delivered the exact results I hoped for. Quell is like an imbibed torture device infesting those rebel slaves. 
It's exhilarating to see the effects on the survivors who can only stand by and watch helplessly. I'm happy to see you're so pleased. Quell Toxin will be a great asset to the Empire. Uprisings will end painfully and decisively. You've earned your reward, my friend. Now go. I have horror and despair to observe and chronicle. My lord? Look at them out there. They're like animals. Hundreds of slaves with no one to command them and without a thought in their minds as to what to do with their freedom. Like I said, the slaves are animals. But we've noticed strange behavior in the pack. And my superiors want to know more. Some of the slaves are killing each other. We don't know if they're mad or hungry, desperate, or if there's a faction of slaves who've turned on the rest. I can see how a slave civil war would prove useful. Exactly what the higher-ups are saying. That the killers could potentially be manipulated. We know that the killings are ritualistic. The murderous slaves come in the night, stab their foes and paint themselves in blood. If you could investigate, catch them in the act and take them down, maybe you could find a clue to their motives. I'll see what I can do, but I remember what it was like being one of them. Ah, yes. Yes, my lord, of, of course. Look for any slave who's turned on his peers. With luck, he'll lead us to answers. Hey, uh, my lord, right? Not sure about my propers with you folks. Seeing as how you're already killing slaves and causing a fuss, how'd you like to make a pile of credits? I suppose I have the time. So Darth Valron is on the Dark Council, and his apprentice Lord Ket wants to advance, so he starts building a giant statue to his master. But Lord Ket doesn't want his master to know, so he brings in slaves from Offworld. Slaves rebel, and we get this mess. The slave rebellion I'm familiar with, though I didn't know the specifics. Here's where it gets complicated. Lord Ket wants to save face, but secretly. He calls in me and my mercs. By the time we get here, the slaves have captured some giant industrial drills, and they're getting ready to bring down the whole giant statue. Our best team goes in with explosives to blow up the drills. Slaves kill every last one. Got a pile of credits for anyone who grabs those explosives, hooks them to a giant drill, then fights off slaves until the explosives detonate. Jepai sweepa persuit ingala benai kapwas daidai.
You... You are not the Initiate. You... You are Sith. You honor us with your presence, mighty lord. Welcome to our prison. Start talking, but move wrong and I'll kill you. You want explanations? I am Traka Unvor, leader of the Unchained. I am master of my hatred. When the other slaves broke free, I laughed. Like you, I knew their escape was a delusion. For only Sith possess true freedom. I was a slave myself, before I became Sith. Yes, yes, mighty one. Then you do understand. I saw a chance to prove myself. I culled weak from strong. I began to kill and to teach. I showed slaves freedom through bloodshed. Now my followers and I are the masters here. And soon, we will become Sith ourselves. You may have potential, but are you strong in the Force? My strength is in my fists, but the Force has guided me here. And it has guided you. Now you can spread word of us to the Empire. Your strength is great. With your approval, we shall serve. Carry our message of allegiance to your masters, and we will become the new face of the Empire. We will be champions of the dark side. The Empire will hear your message. As it should be. Take this data pad, my plea to the Sith Lords. For now, I am not ready to leave the Colossus. With every kill, I feel my power grow. And there are many slaves who may yet join me. But soon, we will all be ready. We will await word from the Empire. I'm sure you will. Doesn't make you any less of a madman. You underestimate us. If we meet again, perhaps you will see this. Farewell for now. We return to the shadows. Does this mean you found them? You found the archaeological plans? I hope there's not too much blood on them. Oh, no, no. I've read much, much worse. Now, let me see. Ah, yes. How clever. There's a chamber hidden under the Colossus itself. I bet my complete collection of Naga Sado's Yavin 4 writings that you'll find what we're looking for in this chamber. I'll get inside if I have to destroy the whole Colossus. Such zeal. But destroying the Colossus won't be necessary. There should be a hidden entrance near the Colossus. It looks like Scotia has an entire underground base. You're looking for a tablet. The tablet is the symbol of leadership of an obscure Trandoshan cult. The lizards believe it was a gift from their deity, the Scorekeeper. Scotia stole the tablet and uses it to exert control over his Trandoshan bodyguards. Give them their relic, and Scotia's power over his bodyguards will turn to vapor. His own defenses will be his downfall. You could try it. It might weaken him a little. Scotia's not stupid enough to retain guards who could actually overpower him. The main thing is to keep Scotia's bodyguards off you. The plans suggest Scotia's apprentices guard this base. I don't doubt they hold the keys to acquiring the Trandoshan tablet. Best kill them all, to be sure. Inupis just nas jans, now mipan astana tods jans. <laughs>